Hi there. Today, we're going to explore setting up your first workspace in Terraform Cloud. You may already be familiar with Terraform by HashiCorp, but if you haven't heard of Terraform Cloud yet, it's time to check it out. Terraform Cloud is HashiCorp's managed service that can be used to provision infrastructure on demand or in response to certain events. It can also be used for remote state management. Terraform Cloud is a commercial software as a service product. However, a lot of its functionality is free for smaller teams. The paid features come into effect for larger organizations and relate to things like team management, governance, single sign-on, etc. So let's get started on creating a Terraform Cloud account. If you already have a Terraform Cloud account, feel free to just sign in and skip this part of the video and jump right into creating a Terraform Cloud workspace. Okay, navigate to the following page, which will also be in the description below. From here, click on Try Terraform Cloud. On the following form, you'll need to specify a desired username, a valid email address, and also create a secure password. Then click the checkboxes to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. And finally, click Create Account. You'll then be sent an email with a link to verify your email address. Find that email and click on the verification link. Once you click the verification link, you should be greeted by the Getting Started for Terraform Cloud. There are three options here. First, you can try an example configuration, or you could start from scratch, and finally you could import from a local state. For this video, we're going to start from scratch, so click on that. Here, we'll be prompted to come up with an organization name. Keep in mind that organization names must be unique. Once you have the organization name filled in, click Create Organization. Okay, now that the Terraform Cloud account is set up and we've created an organization, let's create our first workspace. On the Create a New Workspace page, we have a few options version control workflow, CLI-driven workflow, or API-driven workflow. Since this is our first workspace, we're going to start simple with a CLI-driven workspace. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to need to specify a name for this workspace, so I'm going to call it Test Workspace. And I'll leave the description blank. So go ahead and click on Create Workspace. We now have an empty workspace and it's waiting for a configuration. To set this workspace up with a CLI-driven configuration, there are some instructions here to follow. First, we need to authenticate to Terraform Cloud from the command line using the Terraform login command. From a terminal where you have Terraform installed, run the command Terraform login. Terraform will display a message explaining that it will have you create an API token through your browser, and then it will be stored at the listed location to be used on future commands. And just like a Terraform apply, only a yes will confirm. So go ahead and type yes and hit enter. A browser window will be opened to Terraform Cloud. Log in if you haven't already. You will then be prompted to create an API token. Choose a description for this token. Something that makes sense to help you identify it in the future in case you need to deactivate it or reference it later. I'm going to call mine Terraform Lab. Then click on Create API Token. The new API token will be displayed next. Click the copy icon to copy it to your clipboard. Keep in mind that this is the only time you will be able to see this token. So put it somewhere safe, like a key vault or password manager, if you think you might need it again in the future. Now go back into the terminal where you ran Terraform login and paste the token into the terminal prompt. Note that you won't see any characters on this screen since they're hidden. Now go ahead and hit enter. If successful, you should see a message welcoming you to Terraform Cloud. All right. Now that we're authenticated with Terraform Cloud, let's go ahead and wire up a configuration to use it. Here I have a sample configuration that just uses a null resource to run an echo command. It doesn't create any resources. However, we first need to wire this up to the new Terraform Cloud workspace. To do this, I need to set up the workspace as a backend for this configuration. 
you'll notice that my versions.tf file is currently empty. This is where I'll put my Terraform block. If I go back to the workspace in Terraform Cloud, you'll see that there's some example code already written that we can use for this. So let's copy and paste that into the versions.tf file. So basically, what we have here is the standard Terraform block that's required in all configurations. But inside the Terraform block, we now have a cloud block, which defines which organization we need to authenticate to. Remember, this was the unique name that you had to come up with when creating the account. And next, we have the workspace that this configuration will use. Those two pieces of information, along with the API token that we just stored locally with the Terraform login command, will allow us to run this configuration remotely in Terraform Cloud. Okay, make sure versions.tf is saved, and let's open up a new terminal. From the configuration's root folder, let's go ahead and run Terraform init to initialize everything. Notice the output now mentions initializing Terraform Cloud, and if everything is set up right, it should also say Terraform Cloud has been successfully initialized. Okay, let's go ahead and run a plan next. Here, you will notice a couple of differences in the plan output now that we set up the cloud workspace. Take a look at the first couple of lines. It says that a plan is now running in Terraform Cloud and the output will be streamed here to the terminal. Interesting. A little further down, there is a link where you can view the run in the browser. I'm going to control click that link now to open it. A browser window then opens up to the run in Terraform Cloud. Since this workspace is set up as the backend, the actual plan is no longer running from my machine. It's running from one of Terraform's hosted machines. You'll also notice that this run is listed as a speculative plan. This is a little different than a regular plan. When you run a plan from the CLI against a remote workspace, it generates a speculative plan. If I scroll down to the bottom of the page, there is a message stating that you cannot run an apply from a speculative plan. You'll also notice that if I go to the Runs tab, speculative plans do not show up here either. They can only be accessed by the direct link in the plan output. Okay, let's go back to the terminal and run a Terraform apply. Before I confirm this apply, Let's go ahead and browse to the URL for the run in the browser. You should notice that instead of this being a speculative plan, you can see that it was triggered as a run. And scrolling down to the bottom of the page, I now have the option to confirm and apply from Terraform Cloud. But let's go back to the terminal and type yes, then hit enter. And I'm gonna quickly switch back to Terraform Cloud so we can watch the run in the browser. Now that ran pretty quick because I'm not creating any resources and I'm just using the null resource. You'll also notice that if we go back to the runs tab, we can see both the plan and apply. And if we click on the current run, we can see both the plan details and the apply details just like we can see in the terminal. Congratulations, you just entered the world of Terraform Cloud and created your first workspace. Let me know in the comments if there are any other features you'd like to see covered and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.